guys, so today I'm doing a Q&A video and I'm really, really excited. Um, I, on my recent giveaway on Instagram, I asked you guys to give me a few questions and then I got some more on my YouTube, so I'm going to be going through it. So the first one is on my Instagram and um, so I'm going to be going ahead and doing the questions. So the first one from Raven Stern is, what brand of makeup is your go-to? Um, usually it is ColourPop. I've been using their shadows like pretty much every single day when I go to work. Um, because it's very quick to put on. You don't even need a brush. You can just use your finger and lightly put the shadow on. And it's perfect and I love it so much. Um, Ninja Panda Chef says, what is your favorite hair care product. Um, I don't really use a lot of hair care products, but I do have some thickening shampoo that I really love. So this has to be my favorite hair care product. It's the L'Oreal Volume Filler Thickening Shampoo. I love it because my hair is super thin um, and I need volume in my hair or else it'll look dirty and gross even after I just wash it. Um, so I use that and it just makes my hair look really nice and I actually have volume which is like one of those like rare things like Loch Ness Monster and stuff so yeah. <laughs> um, Jax underscore D says what is the story behind your makeup brand and where is it sold? So um, basically the story behind my makeup brand is I wanted to create eyeshadows that were vegan, that were brightly colored, that were not sixteen, seventeen dollars for an eyeshadow. Um, I'm very cheap. <laughs> it, like when it comes to makeup, I like cheap makeup, but I also want it to be good quality. So um, I started kind of experimenting two years prior. Uh, I was playing around with a lot of different things and I came and I came up with Corpse Cosmetics and um, I really like the name. I used to go by Kimmy Corpse on my MySpace days so I really liked how it came off, um, how it kind of sounded um, and I just started playing around and you know I let some of my friends try it out and they were like you should sell it and I was like okay you know because peer pressure. Um, but it's sold on Store Envy. I'll have a link below. You can check it out. Um, it's, you know, vegan makeup, all natural. You don't have to worry about any kind of bugs or anything in there, like, because I know a lot of red lipstick has, like, crushed up beetles, and that's nasty. Nobody wants that. So, I do bright colored vegan eyeshadows. I also do, you know, neutral colors. Um, liners, lip products face products, all that kind of stuff for a very, very reasonable price and I love it and I love creating new shadows and glitters and all that kind of stuff, so yeah. <laughs> um, Crystal and Michelle says, what is your favorite makeup brand? I'd have to say the toss between NYX and ColourPop because I'm so addicted to ColourPop lately, like, it's just so easy to use, and it's very affordable, and NYX, of course, is affordable, and they have, like, crazy awesome stuff now, and I'm just like, oh my god, I'm so in love. The yeah. end. And Doggy Bites 33 list of top 10 favorite animes. I believe I'll do this a separate video, because it might take a while, because I really don't know, but off the top of my head, Ori Monotakari is, like, my life right now and Monster Masume are the top two that I'm like addicted to. Like I've been addicted to Monster Masume with the manga and now they came out with an anime for it and I have to say I was pretty shocked and I'm very very happy. So I'm gonna go to YouTube and pull up some questions as well. Okay so I had to take off the wig because it was just like really really hot and my room's already like a million degrees so went ahead and took that off and kind of fixed my hair I guess but um got some more questions 
So on Facebook, I got um, from Astrid. Hi. Um, what got you into makeup, and what inspired you to make to start your own business? Um, basically, I really have been into makeup my entire life. Um, I was pretty much brought up by my mom, my grandma, and my aunt. And my aunt is a cosmetologist, and she's a cosmetology teacher. So, um, I was really around hair and makeup a lot when I was younger. And, um, you know, she would have me help with hair and stuff when I was younger. And she loved makeup. She still does. And, um, I pretty much, like, would sneak her makeup when I was younger. I would, like, sneak it out of her, like, makeup kit that she would carry and try it on. And I've always been a really big fan of makeup. Um, I didn't really get into doing, like, colorful looks until after high school. I think it was, like, 18 or 19 when I started really experimenting because I went through a phase where I only wore black eyeshadow and if I wore lipstick it was black um so all through high school I was that weird gothish I wasn't completely goth but I wore all black I had black eyeshadow that was like up to my eyebrows and black lipstick when you know I could get away with it pretty much um and uh yeah I was pretty pretty <laughs> It was interesting, like, I look back at those photos and I'm like, damn, like, yeah, it was, uh, crazy. And basically what inspired me to do my own business, like I said before, is I like cheap makeup. Like, I don't like spending a hundred fucking dollars on some bright eyeshadow or, like, even sixteen dollars on one eyeshadow or a colorful lip product. Like, it just blew my mind and... To see people spending hundreds and hundreds of dollars and getting like two eyeshadows that just like boggled my mind. I'm like, do you know how many how m like how many bills you could pay with all of that? So that really got me into it, and you know I wanted to create something unique and different. So that's what really started everything, I guess. Um, how did you begin your cosplay journey? Um, from Chiharu Dawn, and basically I started doing cosplay when I was really young. I liked, I always liked dressing up as, like, weird things. I remember one year, um, I wanted to dress up as a peacock. Don't ask me why, but I was like, hey, you know, I, me and my friend put on, like, little plays and stuff, and I wanted to be a peacock, of all things. And she was like a dog or whatever and I love dressing up and I start then I started when I got into K-pop I started trying to cosplay G-Dragon a lot because he always had crazy outfits and then I met my best friend Domi who lives in Vegas now unfortunately she's all right with <laughs> but um I met her and she taught me so much about cosplaying and I really got into going to conventions and cosplaying what I loved. Um, I was a big fan of Sailor Moon and Pokemon when I was little and I was like that would be so cool to dress like Sailor Moon or dress like Pikachu or something like that and I, I've i always been a fan of creating my own clothing um, when I was younger and going through my scene phase um, I wanted to create my own clothes because a, I couldn't find any cute clothes in plus size, and B, I was broke because <laughs> I was a, like a little kid. So um, I created clothes, and it kind of just went from there. And I'm so I love cosplay so much. It's such a um, outlet for me to kind of immerse myself in and just forget about whatever I'm dealing with, whatever I'm going through at that time, I can just immerse myself into creating something pretty or something cool and I can just, you know, take my mind off everything. So I love it so much. Um, and YouTube. So here's a few questions from YouTube. Um, do you have a significant other? Once you had a boyfriend and then a girlfriend, what's your sexuality, all that stuff. So, I get that a lot. I'm actually going to be doing a full video on that. So, 
Yeah, but your favorite color hair dye and what is your favorite brand? Um, uh, my favorite color that I've done so far is the blue and purple. Um, I love that so much and I miss it and I am hoping I can go back to that really soon. Um my favorite brand so far is definitely mm, I want to say Punky Colors just because it has like conditioner built into it and it's like I don't know I just love it and it doesn't wash out really quick and it's very very affordable um I do like Arctic Fox color Arctic Fox hair color I've only tried one of them but I do plan on getting more but I really loved how it like conditioned the hair and it's all vegan and I also love directions um my friend Shona here on YouTube uh introduced me to it so I was like yes I love it because she always has amazing freaking hair and I'm just like oh my god <laughs> like seriously it's amazing so those are like the top three but mostly punky colors is what I usually go for um uh how and why did you get into making YouTube videos I don't know like I just started like when I first started my channel it was just like random videos of me talking about well, there was one of me talking about Twilight and just doing random stuff and then I started you know watching um I started watching Vintage Attacky and Jack Jack um X Barkage and Dulce Candy and they were doing like all these really cool makeup tutorials and I really wanted to do it so I just kind of started and it grew from there and um yeah <laughs> I just kind of started I got a you know video camera and I would talk to it and then I started doing tutorials and then here I am today <laughs> um how do you do your hair that color? I'm guessing it was a question when I had colored hair, but um, I'm going to do a separate video on hair um, because I'm going to be dyeing my hair soon. I'm going to bleach it and then put some color in. Um, I'm not exactly sure what colors yet. Um, I'm kind of hoping like the blue fading into green maybe because I have like a bunch of green hair dye from my friend Domi when I did her hair green so I might do that I'm not sure I'm not 100% yet so I'll figure that out very soon but that is all the questions if you guys have any questions for me you can leave them below and I will do my best to answer them in an upcoming video thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you later bye